CPD, or Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. It's a mouthful. It also literally takes your breath away. Sometimes that shortness of breath comes with wheezing or a constant cough. It can change breathing from something that you do automatically without thought to an activity where every breath requires focus and real effort. 16 million Americans have been diagnosed with this disease, and researchers believe that almost an equal number have COPD but don't yet know it. COPD kills about 160,000 Americans each year. That puts it right behind heart disease and cancer, making it the number three leading cause of death among chronic diseases. Those are ugly numbers. And in rural America, the statistics are even worse. We have gotten reports from the CDC that absolutely show, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that COPD deaths and the number of people who have it in rural America is double, double what it is in urban America. That's called a health disparity. And the disparity gets even more extreme where the need is greatest to begin with. We were really surprised to find the increase in COPD prevalence in rural areas, and not just rural areas, but rural poor areas. And so as an extension of some work that had been done, we really looked at individual risk factors and found that living in a rural poor area doubled your risk of having COPD a risk of 16% compared to 8%, which is the national average. So what can be done? Raising public awareness, earlier diagnosis, and research for a cure. But research especially takes time and money. And here's another statistic that should get your attention. Despite being the third leading cause of death among chronic diseases, COPD ranks 165th when it comes to funding research. COPD research is probably 30 to 40 years behind research in heart disease and cancer. The causes of COPD are pretty well known. Top of the list, smoking. And people in rural areas tend to smoke a lot. What else? air pollution, smoke, chemicals, fibers, dust. Do we know enough about the causes of COPD, especially in rural America? Are there other things we should be aware of? For example, we know that um, improper burning of stoves inside the house for heating can cause uh, uh, indoor pollution, and that indoor pollution may lead it to something very close to COPD? Or is it outdoor pollution? Or is it related maybe to, to your workplace? Uh, um, dusts uh, are known to, to, to possibly cause uh, COPD or COPD-like syndromes. Whatever the causes of COPD, the treatments are essentially the same. We need equivalent access to care, equivalent access to diagnosis. We don't want to stand out because we have the highest rates of a disease that has no cure, that is progressive. And I, I think that we have moved to a point that it is so clear that there's an epidemic. People are struggling for breath in rural America and they're not being diagnosed and they're dying. Rural healthcare facilities and providers will need to play a bigger role in this epidemic. It can start with diagnosing people early in their disease so that lung function can be preserved. This means educating patients, asking questions, thinking about COPD when patients do complain of respiratory symptoms. I've heard that it's called the don't ask, don't tell disease because patients don't tell their providers about their symptoms and the providers many times fail to ask about those. There is, as yet, no cure for COPD, but that's not where the emphasis should be. COPD can be, must be, treated. Healthcare professionals need to make sure 
that their patients know how and when to use their inhaled medications and, when needed, oxygen. They also need to prescribe the one treatment that almost always improves the quality of life for COPD patients, pulmonary rehabilitation. But here's another source of frustration. Pulmonary rehab is the best treatment we have for COPD, and it is the least available. We have inhaled medicines that are the mainstay of our treatment, and all they do is control symptoms, which is wonderful, but controlling symptoms doesn't give people lives back. What gives people life back is the third arm, and that's pulmonary rehab. Not only do you learn about your disease, but you do it in a context, and it's an individualized program, you do it in a context that's social. Others who share your disease and are at different stages in the disease are there to support you. To deal with a health problem the magnitude of COPD, rural providers will need partners, including experts, most of whom are located in urban centers. Obviously, COPD is a, a chronic disease that spans a, a you know every um, a demographic, and, and part of the biggest problem is the rural health. Um, there's problems with access. Um, there's problem with access to care. Problems with access to pulmonary rehab. As a, a, a large tertiary care facility uh, in this in the city of Pittsburgh, we get those patients flown in. And what we want to do is be able to take care of those patients in the community and have them there and, and, and help with their resources that, um, that will allow those patients to stay home. That's our goal. At the federal level, efforts have begun to address rural COPD with agencies working together, not just with each other, but with foundations, rural providers, state offices of rural health, rural researchers, patients, and more. On one side, yes, we gather the data, but then you need to talk to the people that are in that place. And that was the, the conduit that allowed us actually to expand our views, to, to increase our interactions, and to start doing something. And we all know not only rural is different from urban, but each rural is different from each other. Addressing the rural disparity and making a difference for patients won't be easy in rural communities, but simple steps and a positive attitude are a great start. I find a, an honesty, I find an openness in rural America, and I see incredible pride and determination. And I see that conquering diseases, including COPD, I really do.